In March of 2021, we made the final decision to make the move from Southern Ontario to Saskatchewan. So on the very first days of March, two of my children and myself took it upon themselves to travel to Saskatchewan to see a number of potential places that would qualify for our homestead. So the decision to ultimately end up at this homestead that we are in today, of course, had to do with all these lovely outbuildings. Because having a Quonset, having a number of granaries, a huge barn, and another building that, of course, we dubbed as the Tin Can, which is also, of course, a barn. So yeah, we had to wait the entire summer of 2021 to make all the arrangements for our move to sell our house in the Niagara region and then to make the track in mid-September after everything was uh, done with cl closing to make the trek to Saskatchewan for a second time. So this time the whole family went in the van, all seven of us, plus whatever we could take with us, and then a moving truck would come later. So in October, after basically unpacking and uh, doing all the uh, cleanup of the items from the moving truck, we decided to do some outdoor work yet. So one of the jobs that we found is that this big barn that we have dubbed the tin can has tin sheeting on the roof, on all the walls, except for the door in the front. And we noticed that the whole backside has not been done. So this backside here, we thought would be best if we started painting right away. So this was our first job. The boys and I, we took large stacks of skids, of pallets, and went up higher and higher to paint this side because this side was uh, in not a great condition. So we had to try to sand off what we could, clean off the boards, get all the spider webs gone, and then put the paint on it. So that's the job that we ended up doing in October of 2021. So besides that, the early weeks, the first two weeks basically, up until November 12th, if I'm not mistaken, everything stayed very mild and very nice. And so we took it upon ourselves to add another painting job. The uh, other painting job was this little building right over here. And we can see that this is not an overly large area to paint, so it was nice to do. We were able to get it done on time. And you can see there's some hydro still attached, so we had to take our precautions. Now you can see, of course, in the wood that woodpeckers have been working on this building. And again, I need to touch up the areas where they have returned. But overall, this little building is a pump house. And so in this building is the original well and a seven foot deep cistern in which water could be stored. So our job was to, again, clean it, take off a lot of the uh, growing vines that were on this building, and then of course, uh, make it handy for paint.
So inside, we found a completely rotted floor. Dry rot had completely destroyed pretty well all the boards. And so we couldn't do much with it inside until we fixed that. That was, of course, in uh, last year in the summer that we managed to do that. So when you step inside now, we are stepping technically right above our seven foot cistern. And this is where the old fashioned pump still resides. So down here is a well, and that's the project for this summer. So we're going to have to try to replace this old electric motor that has died and see if we can bring the pump back to life. So the floorboard, you can see, is also just like the floor, is quite rotted through. So once we can get this back up, we can turn back the power and we can see what we can do with this pump. So we know there is water in here. We checked it in the first year that we were here. It was pretty dry in the beginning, so we could find that the water was quite deep down below, at least 26, 27 feet deep. Then, of course, we have no idea how deep the water level goes, how deep down it goes, but something we'll have to try to fish out in the future. But that's our next job this summer, is to uh, see if we can restore the old pump. Because, of course, with a good working pump here, and in this our secondary well, I assume that this was the old well that the inhabitants from the 1930s and 50s that they were using that for their drinking water. But now, of course, we could use it for our animals. So that would save us slugging with water from the house all the way to the barn. So we would uh, cut the trips definitely in half. So yeah, that's the pump house. If you uh, paid attention to the footage inside, then of course you may have noticed that there is a pool ladder there and there's a pool sitting there. So we did pick ourselves up a pool since we were used to that, having one in Niagara. We hope to uh, resurrect one here so we can enjoy some swimming on the hot days. So the location of the pool is going to be somewhere over here. So that's it for today's video. I hope you have a, a little bit of an idea of how we arrived here in 2021 and what we decided to start off doing. And of course, in the following years, we worked on other projects around the yard, and I'll be explaining that in future videos. So for now, I say thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video.